Amen. You got all mine. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's so good to be back. Amen. On the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Praise God. Appreciate, appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Don't yes, you? Sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to, amen, uh, direct your attention to one, one scripture tonight. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 4. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, have your way. Amen. Everybody say, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Amen. I, I am open to doing whatever the Lord would have me to do. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I feel like, amen, the Lord spoke to my heart laid this message heavy upon me and uh, praise God, I want to do my best Amen. Amen. to unload on you, hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus you know it's an amazing thing about, about preaching pastoring, evangelizing the Lord preaches to us first, yes, sir, starts yes. landing on us, amen so we can lay it on you <laughs> That's right. Sometimes all night long. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I, I would thank you to keep my wife and family in, in prayer. They are, amen, in La Mesa, Texas, visiting family and uh, on their way back, hopefully right now. But if I know my wife, She'll be on her way back after a while. Right. And uh, praise God. She just likes to spend as much time possible. Amen. Uh, against my wishes. Amen. So I want her back now. Amen. So just pray that the Lord will help them to dodge the deer and the hogs and Amen. any other wildlife that might be out there. Praise God. Ecclesiastes chapter. 3 verse 4 A time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance Amen. Praise God Yes, sir. A time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance right. I want to preach to us amen, from this thought when it's time to dance. Yeah. Praise God. When it's time yes, sir. Yes, sir. to dance. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. God, we Thank you for your tonight. goodness. God, Thank God. you for the opportunity and privilege. Lord, to live for you, God, to be in the house of the Lord tonight. God, I pray you speak to us, Lord. God, I thank you, Lord, to anoint my mind, oh God, anoint my lips to pray, oh God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, open our ears to hear and our heart to receive, Lord, what you would speak to us. In Jesus' name, bind your healing spirit. In Jesus' name, loose us, oh Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen, amen. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. Praise God. Amen. There is a time to weep. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. A time to mourn. Amen. All of us have gone through seasons of sorrow. Right. Yes, Amen. Right. It's, a, it's a part of life. Yes, sir. Amen. But that season of sorrow, that, that times, amen, that, that uh, life circumstances, amen, that, that piercing blow of reality and hurt and pain and undescribable at times the emotional wounds that we receive through life. Amen. It's a season. Everybody say it's a season. Amen. We are not meant to live there. Right. Meant it's never the intention of God. Amen. To stay in that season of mourning, that season of sorrow. 
Amen. Psalms 30 and verse 5 said, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And certainly, though the night can be long, can I get a witness up in here? Yes, sir. The night can just seem like go on for a long time. Amen. But you've got to, and there must be, in every one of our situations, a, an expectancy. Amen. That this too shall pass. Yes. That this season of mourning, the season of weeping, amen, will come to an end. Yes, amen. Because the enemy, amen, he does his best. And I may preach this, amen, from a personal perspective. Amen. Personally, I know, amen, that the enemy, amen, tries his best to steal, amen, my dance. Yeah. Huh? Amen. The enemy tries to, amen, rob us, amen, of our reason, amen, to dance. And he does this, amen, by stealing your joy. When we hear the words of Jesus, and he lets us know, but, but the enemy has come, that he might kill, steal, and to destroy Amen. And if you think, amen, or if I would think that I am exempt, amen, from the enemy coming, amen, and trying to steal, amen, my joy and steal my reason All to right. rejoice, no. amen, and to steal my victory or to steal your victory, amen, let me tell you something, he steals your joy when he can minimize your salvation. Amen. How is it? Amen. I have wondered this. Amen. Not that, that I would lay claim to perfection by no sense of the word. Right. Amen. But I have often wondered how is it, amen, that somebody that has been baptized in Jesus' name, amen, filled with the baptism yeah, of the Holy on. Ghost, amen, how is it, amen, they know, they know the elation, amen, of God's presence. They know the elation. Amen, of the house of God. And amen, what can happen? Amen, inside of the house of God. How will it that that person can backslide? How will it that a person, amen, that can be filled with the glorious infilling of the Holy Ghost, amen, lose that joy and lose that desire, amen, to live for God? Can I tell you, amen, it's because Satan, amen, wants to minimize and they had minimized their salvation. Right. Praise God. But I want to take the word of God and, and I want to, as it were, shove it down the devil's throat tonight. And I'm asking God to remove the shackles of yesterday's failures. Amen. Of yesterday's heartaches and yesterday's burdens and yesterday's setbacks. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. David prayed after his failure. Amen. After his sin. Yeah. Psalms 51, 12. Amen. His prayer was restore. Yeah. Restore yeah. unto me yeah. the joy of thy salvation. Yeah. Amen. Because I submit to you. Amen. That there's joy in being right with yeah. God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There's joy. Amen. In being baptized in Jesus' name. Right. There's joy in having the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is not meat and drink. But it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Can you say amen? amen. I like that song that says, I get joy when I think about it. Woo! I love somebody. Amen. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about how he set me free. Amen. Can we clap our hands tonight up to the Lord? Amen. In today's, 
Amen. Burdens of today's pain, today's disappointments. Amen. He wants to, amen, take our minds off of God. Amen. Our minds off of salvation. Praise God and put it on, amen, the, the here and now, the problems of today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. Amen. Sometimes we just need to refocus. Can you say amen? Amen. The enemy wants to minimize the miracle of salvation right. and maximize our struggles, our failures, our faults, our disappointments, our rejection. Right. Right. Mm. Man, the scripture just ran through my mind. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said this of Jesus Christ, that he went about doing good. And he used, the scripture used the word healing. Amen. All those that were oppressed of the devil. Amen. Can I preach to you? We all get discouraged. Amen. We all find a place, amen, and in times of weariness and in times of difficulty. Amen. We all find ourselves, amen, in those valleys. Amen. Friend of mine, can I tell you? Amen. God wants to, amen. I feel it so strong in the Holy Ghost. Amen. God wants to do good in your life right now. He is here right now to do somebody some good. He has said he's here right now to do somebody some good. Amen. And to heal you. Amen. Of oppression. To heal you. Amen. The oppression of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it's life. Amen. I wish to remind the devil. Oh, is anybody listening right now? Amen. I wish to remind, amen, the devil, amen, that I may not be everything I want to be, and I'm probably not everything I should be, but I thank God I'm nothing like I used to be. I just to take that devil. Come on, somebody, take that devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He's always wanting to. Shove it up in your face. Amen. If you prayed more, amen, you would have so many problems. If you fasted more, you wouldn't have so many difficulties. If you read the Bible more, amen, brother, amen, friend of mine, amen, can I tell you that the greatest in the kingdom is not the person that has every scripture memorized, it's not the person that knows how to fast 40 days and 40 nights, that's the greatest in the kingdom, amen, is not the one that's got the right. You ever notice? Come on. Hey. Woo. 
You ever notice that you don't have to teach a child to dance? You don't have to teach a baby to dance? All right, come on. That's right. You ever notice that? Yes, sir. All you got to do is turn on the music. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Baby. Uh -huh. Doing his best. Yeah. Baby ain't worried about being in time. Right. He ain't worried about looking good. Hey, man, he's just moving to the music. Right. Amen. What God expects of us uh, yeah. is to move with the music. Hallelujah. When the songs of Zion are being played, amen, to move with the music. Amen. To rejoice in the Holy Ghost. Amen. To give him glory and honor and praise. Right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. He wants to uh, remind us again. He wants to minimize the miracle of salvation. Oh, but let's take the word tonight. Hey, Amen. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9 through 11. Hey, Amen. Most of us know it well. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor riders, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God? Right. right. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Amen. I said, it ain't going to happen. No, sir. Right. Hallelujah. Then it goes on to say, verse 11, and such were some of you. And everybody said, yes, I was. Amen, but we are washed. Hallelujah. Amen, can stand in the holy, amen, of holies in the yes. world. 
in the presence of the Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Raising our hands. Amen. And worshiping God with every atom of our being. That we know what it is to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Amen. That we are completing Him. Hallelujah. Because we are justified. Amen. And justice we have never seen before. In the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. My God, my God, my God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2 said, We're in a time past. In time past. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Not anymore. Mm. In time past. You walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of the spirit and worketh in the children of disobedience. Among, among whom also we all had our lifestyle in times past. Oh, come on. Amen. I want to shove that right down the devil's crawl tonight. In times past. Not anymore. Don't confuse who I am or who I was. In time past. Amen. Baby, when you see me, amen, you see somebody that's been washed. You see somebody that's been cleansed. You see somebody that's been sanctified. In time past, in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, amen, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace are you saved. Oh, come on, let's look at verse 6. It hath raised us up. Oh, let me tell you something about this God on there, boy. Amen. He don't leave you in the garbage. Amen. He don't leave you watering in the filth. Amen. He don't leave you in the junk. Amen. He don't leave you an alcoholic. He don't leave you a drug addict. Amen. He don't you leave you as an abuser. Amen. He doesn't go. Oh, come on, somebody. He don't leave you in fornication. He doesn't leave you in adultery. Amen. He doesn't leave you there. Amen. He delivers you out of it. He sets you free from it. He raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I say this. We ought to praise God for what he's already done in our life. Salvation. Everybody say salvation. salvation. Salvation over problems. Salvation over pain. Salvation over discouragement. Amen. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Amen. I am washed. I'm sanctified. I'm justified. Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we say that old song? Look what the Lord has done. Look what he's done. My, my, my. Oh, hallelujah. If you only knew where we come from. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, man. This is not, and hey, man, you've heard me say it many times, this is not the sanctuary of the self-righteous. Right. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, man, this is not the sanctuary of the holier than thou. No, 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 no. You got to know where we come from. Amen. The Lord reach way down. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord reach way down. Praise God. And He got a hold of us in our lowest bank. Amen. Out of mire and out of muck of sin. Woo, we can testify to the cussing out. I said He took the cussing out and put the praising in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise his name. 
So I'm preaching about when it's time to dance. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. My Lord, I'm preaching when it's time to dance. Woo! Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Y'all remember that old chorus? I've got a rock to praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Ooh, come on, somebody. Ah. Man, you you got to understand. Hey, man, what makes our clock tick? Hallelujah. Uh -huh. You got a right. Yes, I've got a right. Amen. Hey, to praise the Lord. I've got a right to lift my voice. Ain't nobody got a right like the children of the Lord who seen the light. Been the theme of the brother lamb. Hey, Amen. Yeah. I've got a right. Woo. Hey, Amen. I like that one. Say, you don't know like I know. Yeah. You what he done me? for me. Hey, Amen. You don't know like I know. Now he set me free. Hey man, I picked me up, yes, turned my around, yes, set Lord. my feet on solid ground. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Hey man, I'm preaching tonight. We are the praising for salvation. Hey man, we're the bills that get paid or not. We are the praising for salvation. Hey man, whether we feel good or not, we are the praising for salvation. Hey man, whether things going right or it's going wrong, we are the praising for salvation. Amen. Isaiah 61, 3 said to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Yeah. To give yeah. unto them beauty for ashes. Yes, the oil. Let, let, me, let me pause right there. Let me chase a rabbit here. Cottontail, right. hallelujah. Uh -huh. yeah. Beauty for ashes. Some here may not understand what that applies to. What, what, what does it mean, beauty for ashes? In the Old Testament, back in Bible times, when somebody was in great mourning, you can find this in the book of Job, when they were in great mourning, they, made, they, they tore their clothes, they rent their clothes, and they would sit down among ashes, get ashes from a fire, and begin to throw those ashes in the air. Yeah. And those blackened ashes, amen, would fall back down in their hand, on their face, and over their clothing. Right. And it was a sign to everybody that came near them. Right. I'm in mourning. Right. Something terrible, something tragic has happened in my life. Yeah. Amen. Job was under sackcloth and ashes. Right. Amen. Praise God. Hey man, it was a, it's a sign. Don't 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 bother me right now. Don't 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 please give me a season to mourn. Right. Give me a time to mourn. That's what it meant. Yes, sir. Praise God. And respectfully, hey man, you were given the allotted time. Hey Amen. But he says here in the scripture to give unto them beauty for ashes. Amen. In other words, he's going to come to you. The grace of God, the mercy of God, the love of God is going to come to you. Amen. Begin to wash. Amen. That ash off your face and out of your eyes. Amen. He's going to give you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beauty. Amen. For ashes. The oil of joy. Amen. For mourning. Amen. That oil, that a fresh anointing. Praise God. That root, that thing that revives us, that thing that, that cleanses yes. us, uh, that white but that heals us. Come on. That's right. That's right. The oil of joy for mourning. And I like this. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Man, you gotta you gotta make up your mind. Amen. I'm changing clothes. Amen. I'm letting God take the, this, amen, spirit of heaven that's off of me. And I am going to put on a garment of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he's worthy. Amen. I said he's worthy. Praise God. Amen. The season of mourning. Amen. It's got to come to a conclusion. Amen. You got to find yourself. Amen. Rejoicing in the goodness of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Now notice this. The last clause of that scripture said that they might be called trees right. of righteousness. Uh -huh. The planting of the Lord. Why? 
that he might be glorified. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. That when it's all said and done, the only way we got through it was him. The only way we made it through that time, that season, was because of the grace of God, the mercy of God, the love of God. Praise God that he might be glorified. When it's time to dance, let God do something. When it's time to dance, amen, let the strength of God, let the hand of God reach down to you. Praise God and minister to you. And change some things in your life. The Bible said for Psalms 149 verse 3. Let them praise his name in the dance. Yes sir. Yes sir. What are you talking about brother music? We don't believe in dancing. I beg your pardon. Amen. Yes sir. Can I preach to you? Amen. That the devil. The enemy. And stolen the dance. Right. Oh, yes. The enemy has taken and stolen the music yeah. and the dance. Oh, exactly right. Hello? Yes, sir. Hey, but the enemy stolen the music, right. perverted the songs. And he stole them to dance. Yes, sir. Can I preach to us? The music and the dance belongs to the church. Right, sir. Right, oh, right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. If, if I could turn back the pages of time, I remember as a child, it just so happened that American Bandstand came on the same time wrestling came on. <laughs> in those days, we had one of those things. And me and my brother, we wanted to watch wrestling. Yep. Back then, it was Ricky Romero, a psycho Negro. <laughs> yep. Man, uh, all them other people, the Barnett. Oh man, yeah, we want to see them goofy guys get out there in those tight shorts and do what they do. Then American Bandstand came on at the same time, Sister Lizzie. And my sister wanted to watch American Bandstand. I hated American Bandstand. Yeah. Talent, goofy music, and people out there on the dance floor doing all that. Nobody doing the same thing. Everybody doing something different. Nobody. Back in the day, back in the day, y'all don't think this is funny, but it's the truth. I still think it's funny because my sister, I used to watch my sister and make fun of her. Now she'd be doing the monkey. Uh, swing. <laughs> hey, man, my, my mom and dad, I, I can remember my mom and dad doing the twist. Jitterboo, jitterbug, some kind of chitter or something. And, and we get this big, ugly fight. Me and my brother and my sister, we get this big, ugly living room fight. Because she wanted to watch American Badass and we wanted to watch wrestling. And so we would take over. My, my brother was six foot one in the sixth grade. We wore a size 14 shoe. <laughs> he was big. And so he would block the TV. And man, so she couldn't get to it. And then the fight was on. Oh. And boy, here comes mama. Ooh, Lord have mercy. And it was ugly. And mama took my sister's side. Two against one, not fair. So mama evened it up. And mama said, you boys go outside and you let your sister watch American Bandstand. 
You meet my brother, look at each other like, uh huh. She may watch it, but she ain't going to enjoy it. <laughs> but we're going to make her life miserable. Because all the time, she's going to be trying to watch Dick Clark and American Bandstand and whoever goofiness, amen, was at that time. We'd just make fun of them, make fun of them, make fun of them. Because nobody did this, nobody did nothing the same. It was just do whatever, you know. But that that is. And I never learned to dance in my life. Right. I would go to the, the school dances. I didn't go to dance. I went to make fun of everybody that was trying to dance. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I was too chubby. <laughs> Amen. I wasn't going to embarrass myself. No, so I sat on the, on, the, on the bench against the wall. Uh -huh. And I looked at all my school friends. We point and laugh. Ah. <laughs> and I never danced again. Dance until I got in church and I found out that dance belongs to the church. I never knew the word dance was in the Bible until after I got the Holy Ghost. Then I found out. Amen. At an at a apostolic Holy Ghost field. Jesus' name, concert. Oh. Now, if I had sister Liz, I didn't even know what it was. Jesus' name, apostolic, Holy Ghost, no, concerts. <laughs> All the concerts I ever went to was Alice Cooper and Yuck, Yuck, Yuck. <laughs> and, and then I got the Holy Ghost and I got the church. All right. And I, I mean, I'm a new convert. I'm a new convert. I'm 15 years old. And I don't know nothing about this. Nothing. Come on. When I'm in the middle of this concert, and man, I mean, it's, it was at a high school auditorium in Amarillo, Texas. And this is my first experience. Amen. With a bunch of Jesus name apostolics right. under one roof. Yes. There's probably about 400, 500 people there. Wow. I don't know. Just guessing, it was packed to the max. And then the Spirit of God was just a moving. They were singing those apostolic Jesus name, Holy Ghost filled songs. And man, it was pumping, man. I mean, it was pumping. People jumping, people dancing, people moving. And I didn't know what to do with it. I was up at the front, Sister Driscoll. Amen. I went up to the front with the rest of the young people from my church, with a, a number of other young people from all over the place. And man, they know how to handle this. I didn't know how to handle it. So I'm sitting down going, yeah. just shaking yeah. under the power of God. Yeah. Can I remind us that in his presence oh, is fullness of joy? Yeah. And that his right hand are pleasures yeah. forevermore? Yeah. Don't let the devil stay Steal from you what God intends to bless you with. And I don't know how to handle this newfound power, this newfound presence of God in my life. And I remember I'm just shaking, shaking, shaking. I don't know what to do with this. Like stick my fingers in a light socket, electrical socket. And you're going to do something, you just don't know what to do. You're going to move? I promise you, you're going to move. You get a hold of this, you're going to move. Amen. What the enemy is trying to do is unplug us from the power. Amen. The devil's trying to unplug us from that, that power that we feel when we worship God. And I remember shaking under the presence of God and my pastor came to me. Amen. He put his hands on my hand and he said, Brother Rick, just dance. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> and I didn't understand exactly what that means. He said, just rejoice in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Just do whatever you feel like doing. Yeah. Man, I didn't know how to handle this. I looked around a little bit and I seen what the other young people was doing. Amen. So I just joined in. In other words, when I'm preaching, when it's time to dance, don't just sit there. Yeah. Amen. When it's time to dance, amen. Just don't get on the side of the wall. Amen. To be a spectator. Amen. Of what God's doing in other people's lives. Amen. It's time. Amen. When it's time to dance. By all means, dance. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. It's time. Amen. When it's time. Jeremiah 31 12 said this. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion. And shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord. For wheat and for wine and for oil. And for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their soul. Hmm? Yeah. It's all natural. Right. Then it gets to the soul. Right? right? And their soul shall be as a watered garden. Right. And they shall not sorrow anymore right. at all. Anymore at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance. Right. Both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. Right. The question for you. Don't you think it's about time we dance again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't you think? Let's all stand together. Don't you think? It's about time to dance again. Praise God. What the devil wants to convince you of is that you have nothing to dance for. Huh? That you have nothing to dance for. I don't have the answer to a whole other questions about life. Right. I can't give you the how comes and the whys right. of everything I've been through. Right. Don't know. Right. I've asked God for an answer. Yes, sir. He has chosen not to give me one. And it's fine with me because it doesn't always turn. My salvation. Come on, right. Come on. Right. Come on. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you, see Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Philippians 4 4 said, Rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. And again, I say, Rejoice. Jesus told us in this world you shall have tribulation. Yep. Yep. The thing about the Lord is very honest. In this world you shall have no if and maybe you're going to have tribulation. But in the midst of the tribulation, Jesus said, be of good cheer. Yes, right. Amen. Uh, wait a minute. Time out. <laughs> How can you be in the midst of tribulation and have good cheer at the same time? Yeah. Amen. Come on. Put in the words of the song, right on the master of wind. Hallelujah. Yep. Be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Hey, man, if he's overcome the world, he said, hey, guess what? So can you. Yeah. Yeah. Praise Amen. God. Be of good cheer. Praise right. God. Hallelujah. It's time to dance. When it's time to dance. Right. Come on. Just give me a few more minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Walk into the sun right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Every one of us. Every one of us. Every person in this building tonight, Come this on. sanctuary, Come on. Come every on. one of us can sit down and <clears throat> we can meditate on things gone by. Right, right. Every one of us can meditate on things that broke our heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can think about the death of my father. Yep. I can dwell on the death of my mother. Yep. Amen. I can I can just pull up in the memory banks of my mind. Right. Amen. The people that rejected me, the people that hurt me, the people right. that disappointed me, the people that spoke ill against me. Right. Amen. The people that tried to destroy my ministry, so on, so forth, on and on and on and on it goes. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. 
Or. Or. I can say, you know what? I got it wrong. And I got it bad. But died in truth. And I've got a blessed hope. Amen. That soon and very soon. Amen. We will be reunited together again. I rejoice in that. Praise God. Amen. You know, I found out a long time ago, Sister Driscoll, I can't do anything about anybody else's decisions. Right, right. Amen. That's right. I can't change anybody's mind, Pastor. Amen. I, I can try, I can counsel, I can pray, I can do all of these things that we're supposed to do and need to do. Amen. But if they don't want to change, guess what? They're not going to change. And I cannot worry myself sick because they're not willing amen, to change. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm nailing it. I'm nailing it down tonight. Amen. The only person that I can help is myself. David was greatly distressed. Man, he looked at that flap of that tent. Hey, man, he got 400 men, big men, grabbing big stones. I don't think they were rocks, little pebbles. No, they were about hand size. They were weigh about two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds a piece. And every one of them had, every, every, all those guys took a magic marker and put David's name. This is for David. Yeah. Hey man, they spake of stoning him. Yeah. Yeah. Man, everything going wrong. Everything going wrong. All right. Wives are kidnapped. Children's kidnapped. All my stuff is stolen. Everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. Hey man, and now these people are talking about stoning me. Hey man, Lord have mercy. And he's walking back and forth in this pit. <coughs> Greatly distressed. Been there. Been there. Yes, sir. I've sat on the edge of my bed all night long, weeping, yes, weeping, weeping until I had no more tears to weep. Yes, sir. Been there. Yes, sir. Looked up into the heavens, amen, saying, God, where are you? Oh, yeah. I didn't know where God was, but God knew exactly where I was. Oh, yes. And weeping may endure for a night, oh, but joy is coming. Tonight. Let's all come up around. Amen. The altar tonight. Hallelujah. 